Hey everybody, Austin here. Uh, it is September 2020. So excited to be able to uh, just come as we do every month and tell you about some things going on with Worship Catalyst. And uh, man, great treat for you uh, this month. This is Michael Horner, and Michael Horner is the pastor of a church called New Thing Church in Las Vegas. And you know, some of you guys, you know, you, every single one of us has been impacted, affected by uh, COVID-19. 2020 has just been a weird, weirdo year, you know, as everybody knows. And uh, But what you may not have ever talked to this year is a church planter. So I wanted you to get a chance to just kind of hear how, um, how it's affecting church planting and how Worship Catalyst has been able to intersect with some churches all across the country. So Michael, just let us know a little about who you are, your church, and how long it's been going and stuff. Awesome. Well, like I said, I'm Pastor Michael with New Thing Church. Living in Las Vegas about four years now. Um, marriage fell apart in Vegas um, eight years prior to us moving to Vegas, my wife and I. Uh, God resurrects my dead marriage and moves us here to start a church. And uh, church planning has been one of those things where it's like sailing a ship and building at the same time. Uh, so you can start sailing the ship and something breaks or it's got a you spring a leak and you have to uh, you have to start rebuilding. Right. And so 2020 has been one of those years mm -hmm. of patching holes and tearing off the mast and, and everything else that you thought you're going in one direction. And the Lord says, hey, slow down. We're doing, thing, doing things differently. And so, um, man, it's been, a, my emotions have been all over the map. What do you think has been like one of the hardest, I mean, like, what's the hardest part about this year for a church plan for you guys? I think the hardest thing um, is not be able to see your people mm -hmm. every week. That's been part of the hardest things. I'm uh, uber extroverted. Can you tell? Yeah, you're right. Like, you know, I'm coming to the screen with you. I'm uber extroverted. And so I get, uh, get energized by being around people. And so that was really hard. I mean, I do have six kids. Uh, there's a family with eight of us and nine with my new daughter in law. Um, they do not live with us, by the way. And uh, we're in this mode where I get energized by them. But at the same time, I need to be able to love our people and encourage our people and yeah. shepherd them and, and sharpen them and all these different things. And that, you know, Zoom land and yeah. that's been really tough. There's just a layer of complexity there. Yeah. Also, they meet in a school or did in yeah. Las Vegas. And I know that all the cities, I mean, the vast majority of the cities where we have teams around the country yeah. have all said schools are off limits indefinitely, you know? Yeah. And so that's another layer of that is like when we can go back, absolutely. where do we go back? That's right. Like that. so. 100%, like those things are all such, our people are, are hungry to meet in person again. And even though we were doing small groups now and we're no longer on Zoom, praise God, but at the same time, it's just not the same. Uh, our small groups, our life transformation groups, we call them, are not the same as a Sunday morning message and uh, live worship music. and. It's just not the same. And so we're, we're really just right now just asking God for wisdom. Right, yeah. Where do you want us? Yep. And what do you want it to look like after right. this is all ended? Well, maybe you guys are joining and praying with Michael. Um, yes, please you know, do. And uh, one last thing, man. So our intersection with New Thing Church has been like multi-level through the years of various things. But like a, like pretty much all of our cities, when, we, when, when every church plant went virtual, we started helping you with the technology to make it happen. So just kind of like we started filming, editing, things like that. So yeah. Michael just wanted to share a little bit with you guys about how that's impacted their church. Man, we could not do what we've done or survived uh, <laughs> without Austin and Worship Catalyst. It has been such a joy, such a privilege. Uh, you know, I, I've always like been, man, we're, we're out. You know, my mom always told me growing up, don't out uh, wear your welcome, right? Don't, don't don't wear it out. And I felt like there's been many a times that we've been wearing Austin out, but he said such a servant attitude, just loving us, serving us. Um, not one time had a, rough, a bad attitude, just always wanting to love us. And I, I mean, I was like, man, thank you. And he's like, my pleasure, my pleasure, man. I, it's like, it works for Chick-fil-A, Chick man. Right? Got that from Chick-fil-A. Yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> You're a disciple of Chick-fil-A. But, uh, but man, hey, I, we could not do what we're doing without this guy. So man, you gotta make it a great investment in him. And I thank you for your investment in not just Worship Cal, that's been the kingdom of God because yeah. your investment in him allows him to be an investment in us. For sure, man. So thank you guys so much for what you do. And I want to, you know, as always, I want to give you a taste because, you know, nothing happens without uh, without you and your prayers and your gifts and your partnership and all these different ways. And so uh, glad you got to meet Michael today. Be sure and pray for him and pray for us. And uh, we'll talk to you next month. God bless you guys.